Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, as I spoke about last month and as I just spoke about in the general horoscope video for your sign, this month, right in the middle of the month, there is a full moon taking place in your opposite sign. And this always denotes developments where it comes to love and it always denotes an important turning point, important experiences in love that stay with you and define what love is for you for the period ahead, for a considerable time ahead. What is especially uh, special about this particular full moon is that it is occurring very close to Saturn in the sky. And at the same time, it is speaking harmoniously with Jupiter. And Jupiter right now is in a part of the sky that has to do for you with talking. It has to do with communication, but it also has to do with agreements. It has to do with coming to an understanding thanks to other people, thanks to interactions, communications, and messages. With this full moon in your opposite sign, so close to Saturn, some of the lessons that you have been going through where it comes to love and acceptance and what love means to you and who it is that you're with and why it is that you're with them, all of these become emphasized with this particular full moon. However, with this very harmonious conversation taking place at the same time with Jupiter, a very harmonious planet by pretty much all accounts, we can expect that you are talking to others, you are communicating with others, and you are coming to see where you are in love in a different way and agreeing to what the future is going to be in partnerships for you as well. So if you are in an established alliance, then very clearly this plays out in terms of you um, talking to your partner, seeing who this other person is, saying to yourself, okay, is this something we want to continue? Do we want to solidify this? If you do, there are going to be agreements that take place, things that are solidified now that will allow you to move into the future with a greater sense of commitment, the greater sense of mutual strength as well. And it's going to be formed by not only a mutual sense of commitment and responsibility to each other, but also by the things that you agree on now. The things that you talk about now are going to speak to the character of your relationship for a very long time to come. So this really is the time, especially in the middle of the month, to speak your truth, to talk about what it is that you need, to speak your heart as well. And if the other person can go along with that, great. If not, but I don't see that necessarily being the case for most of you, but for that small percentage of you where maybe you realize that 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 desire that you have is not going to be met here. It seems like it's very amicable. There's a very amicable and uh, mutual agreement to go separate ways. If though you are truly committed to each other, then that is only going to be made stronger now. The outcomes ultimately will be based on your mutual assessment at what, at, as to what will benefit the two of you most and what is going to help the two of you mo most move towards greater love as part of your individual journeys as well. Those of you who have somebody in your sphere right now, I'm also seeing a conversation take place and this is really also going to decide where it is that you want to go. It's like you're seeing this person in a much more measured way, in a much more balanced way. And part of the larger lesson for you has been to look at other people honestly, to look at other people for who they really are and where you can do that. And given that, as I spoke about in the Saturn special, given that Saturn is speaking with, um, so many different power players has been since he began moving through Scorpio at the end of 2012. Given this, uh, the chances of you actually in the middle of a time where you meet somebody who ends up being a really solid partner is strong. But there is going to be a percentage of you out there who is going to be meeting people and learning about love and sort of making decisions as you go, healing a lot of things as you go along. And I think that this represents a key moment in that learning process where you are able 
to see this other person in a much more balanced way, make a much more accurate assessment and make a decision based on the future that the two of you have, or maybe that you don't have. And from there, you'll be able to decide whether you want to keep walking along in life with this person, or maybe you don't. And for those of you not currently in an established bond, this is going to be a time of very important conversation that helps you to understand how it is that you ended up where you did and where it is that you've done things right and you can pat yourself on the back on that and where it is maybe that you haven't, where it is maybe that you can actually make a different choice now in order to move yourself towards the type of love that you really want. This really is a moment of realization, if you will, and I do think that especially those of you who are not in an established bond are going to find this an especially significant month because it represents you being very honest with yourself about the level of commitment that you desire to share with another person about where it is that maybe you've been holding yourself back and what it is within you that you now are ready to say, okay, that served its purpose. And this isn't so much about forgiveness energy. This is about understanding on a very deep level that what you want is something more meaningful than you've been sort of giving messages of. And so where it is, maybe if you've had any kind of wall, if you've had any kind of fears, if you've been sending mixed messages, you are about to get really honest with yourself. And that, in turn, is going to make love that much more accessible to you as well. All in all, it is, as I said, one of those major turning points in love. Whenever you get a full moon in your opposite sign, we usually get one once every year. And when you do get this, it does tend to represent an important time. And for you, it looks like not only is it an important time, but it is also a time of decision. It's a time of consequence. And it's a time that ultimately leads you to demonstrate that you actually have a lot of faith, that you deserve a lot of love, which you do. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.